Joining us now is Dr. Roberto Rinaldi, the Vice President of Cl Clinical Integration at JVS and Kadima, joining us on the Megacast. Uh, Dr. Rinaldi, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate having you on. So, uh, of course, we've, we've had some interviews before with JVS Human Services, but you're, the, uh, you're with both JVS and with Kadima. Can you tell us a little bit about these two organizations and, and how they've come together and, and uh, some of their services? Absolutely. So uh, since about 1941, JBS has assisted thousands of people in Oakland, Macomb, and Wayne County to overcome life challenges, realize their potentials, really working with mental health and uh, developmental disabilities. Um, we now um, have joined our operations with Kadima in supporting uh, the Jewish Federation of uh, Metropolitan Detroit in serving the uh, population in a better and wider uh, range. And so uh, th statistics are showing that one in five adults in the U.S. Uh, in 2020 experienced some sort of mental illness. One in 20 uh, experienced so, uh, some form of severe mental er illness. Were, were these numbers significantly higher or, or lower before COVID-19? And if so, uh, in either direction, what factor has COVID-19 brought into changing those numbers? So I... I honestly think the numbers would probably rise. Um, I think the research is still coming out, um, looking at what effects and what stressors the pandemic has had on mental health. Um, over the last few years, I think we've seen an exacerbation of that particular need. I know we had a saturation of, of needs before the pandemic and the stressors of the pandemic have just increased that and exacerbated those needs. Um, you know, our waiting lists have ballooned um, months into getting treatment, uh, you know, county, you know, uh, agencies are just saturated with with wait lists and some some just have stopped taking, you know, uh, patients and, and clients all together. We're joined by Dr. Roberto Rinaldi joining us on the Megacast. He is the Vice President of Clinical Integration at JVS and Kadima with us on the show. And so uh, what are some, some of the barriers that are out there th to people setting treatment, both uh, societal bar barriers that are out there and insurance barriers certainly are an another one to consider and, and even on a personal level physical or mental barriers, uh, barriers that may be preventing them from getting these mental health services that they need. Yeah. So, um, you know, the barriers are extensive. Let's let's be honest. Um, and, and I think that the very first one is is knowledge. Um, you know, we have it, it's a complicated system. Um, and, you know, part of what we're doing with um, some of the programming and some of the webinars that we're hosting is, in, is to get that communication out to the community. Um, we we want to provide the knowledge for everybody in order to understand the process, understand the barriers that are out there, um, and, you know, in order to get the assistance that they need. Uh, you know, the, the fact is that each county has an agency um, in order to provide these services. And, 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 and a lot of most people don't even know what those agencies are. Um, you know, barriers have have exacerbated. I mean, you know, meeting face to face with clients and, and individuals, doing it on Zoom, phone calls, um, you know, community based programs that are based on individuals being out in the community are hard to do, especially um, in light of a pandemic. Um, so the, the, the barriers were always there, financial barriers, Medicaid, Medicare, um, getting those services, being eligible for those services, the process of getting all of the paperwork and going through that um, can be, can be, can be a, a very difficult and daunting task, as well as assessing, right, and being diagnosed properly in order to get the services that are needed for your particular diagnosis. Dr. Rinaldi, you have a upcoming uh, webinar on Thursday, March 3rd. It'll be from 7 o'clock to about 8.30 uh, p.m. It is entitled Mind Matters. Uh, can you tell us about the Mind Matters webinar, uh, what people can expect to learn from that web webinar, and uh, who it is available to? Yeah, so JVS and Kadima um, basically are, are joining forces with the University of Michigan Department of Psychiatry. We'll be ho um, hosting a webinar open to the community. It's absolutely free. Um, and basically we're aiming to help people who are struggling with mental health issues and their families. We wanna make sure that we're capturing those caregivers 
who want more information on how to get medical help, determine you know, the right therapeutic fits, the right therapeutic interventions, um, advice on how to get diagnosed, what are the treatment models that are out there and um, evidence-based practices that everybody should know about, um, financial resources. Um, obviously that's a big one and how to advocate for yourself, how to get out there and advocate for your loved ones and resources available for those caregivers. Caregiving, we know about 8.4 million people are considered to be caregivers in the, in the United States. That's probably going to go up as we know the pandemic. Uh, and those are often a forgotten group of individuals, right? That have to, have to help um, those with a diagnosis through the process as well. We're joined by Dr. Roberto Rinaldi, Vice President of Clinical Integration at JVS and Kadima with us on the MegaCast. And that's a lot of great information that would be helpful uh, to a lot of people, Dr. Rinaldi. Who is this available to and how can people, if they want to participate, if they want to take in this webinar on Thursday, March 3rd from 7 to 8.30, how can they participate? Absolutely. So this is a free interactive webinar and it's open to anybody in the community. It's absolutely free. Um, there is a one uh, CEU for licensed social workers um, and they can register. Um, everything is going to be on the webinar's registration page and that's going to be um, via the University of Michigan Department of Psychiatry's website. So in the meantime, as people are uh, addressing how they can even go about getting the mental health services that they may need uh, as they are approaching, of course, March 3rd for the Mind Matters webinar to learn more information kind of across the board and get a look at mental health services in general and then kind of see where what avenues they should be exploring to get themselves or get someone else treatment a sure. as they're working on their mental health at home or, or in their daily life right now. What are some steps that people can take? Uh, on a daily on a daily basis to kind of keep their mind from going to some of those dark places that it can often go uh, depending on the circumstances of your life depending on the circumstances of your day absolutely so there's some self-help you know um, mindfulness you know being being in the present and, and really understanding how you're feeling and what you're going through reaching out right uh, support systems are absolutely incredibly important especially with the pandemic and, and the isolation that we've felt over the past two years um, there are hotlines out there, you know, Googling hotlines for your particular county in the state of Michigan. Um, every county is going to have an agency that is um, that is out there ready for, and, and, and available to, to help um, those those resources are out there, you know, a, a, a simple Internet search. Right. Um, reaching out to your, you know, primary care physician is, all, is also a, a good idea, um, you know, and, you know, reaching out to a health professional such as a therapist or a social worker or other agencies out in the community. There, there, there are endless amounts of um, agencies and resources out there. And again, navigating this is not always the easiest thing to do, but this is the start. This is the start of getting that information out there so that people really understand how to get the help that they need and deserve. We're joined by the Vice President of Clinical Integration at JVS and Kadima, Dr. Roberto Rinaldi on the, on the Michigan Megacast. You can find this entire interview on demand later on this afternoon on our website, civiccentertv.com, by clicking on our Megacast link. And Dr. Rinaldi, a couple more minutes with you before we'll need to say goodbye today. So uh, JVS and, and Kadima, the Mind, Man, Mind Matters webinar is slated for Thursday, March 3rd, 7 o'clock to 8.30. But there are many other resources through these organizations uh, for those that may be seeking mental health services or other services as well. What are some of those other additional resources that may be helpful to people in the meantime as they're waiting for March 3rd uh, and all throughout the year at any time that they may, may need some help with their mental health or in another area from these two organizations? Sure. So, um, you know, obviously going through through the county is 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 number one. Um, everything flows through the agency that each county um, has. Um, that is dedicated to, to developmental disabilities and mental health. Um, going through them is going to be number one. They will then trickle that down to other agencies that are contracted throughout the county in order to provide those services. Um, you know, calling them, getting the assessment and getting diagnosed is the, the most important thing at this particular moment in time. And then as, as we, you know, get that, then we navigate through the system. Dr. Rinaldi, anything else for us today we haven't discussed or other uh, points that would be important for our audience to be considering uh, on mind matters, on mental health, or on services sure. provided by JVS or Kadima? 
Sure. So Mind Matters, you know, what we're really searching for is here is to help patients, clients, help individuals and their loved ones further understand more about the issues such as treatment um, that is helping but not helping enough, the benefits right about psychotherapy, the role that medicine can play, um, and some self-care strategies, right, such as mindfulness. Um, in order to get their, you know, their mood and the way they function um, to, to a better place, especially with what we've gone through over the past two years. Um, it often takes resilience and knowledge to get to, you know, to take care of yourself. And that's what we're really hoping here is to get that message out and to get people to start um, learning how, in fact, to do that. Uh, Dr. Rinaldi, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.